So we will call the Woodbury Select Board meeting for Monday, September 25th to order. It is 6.02 p.m. As Select Board Chair, I'm compelled to have the meeting be chaired by Diana Paduzzi because mm. I have a commitment in half an hour. Mm. So I have called me to order, but the chair for the position for this meeting will be Diana Paduzzi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any adjustments to the select board agenda or anyone? Any you guys? Okay. I do not. We are working on the bills. They've been approved by two people, so we'll call those approved. I'll look at them later. Uh, the approved minutes from the September 11th meeting. Have been approved. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Okay. Uh, any public comment for anything that's not on the agenda? All righty. So first we have a presentation or a request or announcement from the library trustees. All right. You're on. All right. I don't know if everybody's seen our bright and beautiful announcements, <laughs> but um, anybody who'd like one. We are holding an event. It's a, uh, just for the community strengthening. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring enough. Oh dear. We can share. Yep, right. we can share. All right. Okay. So it's uh, August fourth, and the library is is sponsoring. Um, all the legislators are coming, and it, it really grows out of you know we usually only see them a town meeting because a lot of folks feel, and so we wanted to have another opportunity to have them all here with us. So they're all coming just for us, so I hope we'll be there. <laughs> because they're going to, what we're doing, we're putting together a little bunch of volunteers. We're all hooking for you. And we're going to um, have food. Mm -hmm. And we're going to um, have it in the gym. And they'll be arriving. Everybody rise around 5, and we'll have a little supper, light supper. And uh, Mark's making a lot of rolls. An outdoor oven, so hang on. And there's gluten free cool. vegetarian things. My significant other. Oh, he's making you real baker. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe the word isn't out, but <laughs> ah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we'll have a little light supper, then we'll have about an hour. Stephen's going to uh, moderate a question. Stephen Murphy oh, is going to moderate. Yeah, he's going to okay. moderate Great. a question and answer uh -huh. with the legislators. So that's our plan, and we recognize people are coming off work, you know, they need to eat, they probably have the kids. We weren't able to create a kids program, but we'll, we're welcoming the children, and we'll It'll figure be out. Yeah. It'll be wonderful, yeah. and we'll have things ready in the back. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. So that's the plan. So All right. please spread the word, and whoever can come, please, please come. That's a nice idea. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. If you that information, I can post it on the website. Awesome. Do you want this? <laughs> I've already seen it. Thank you. Uh, if you have a digital like image of this, yeah. I'll post that. Where can I send it? You want to write it on the Write it on the Sure. Speaking of here. Okay, so this is nice because a lot of times people complain that they never hear from our legislators ex except during an election year. Right. And they do want to hear what people are concerned with, and uh, they want to tell us about what things are going to be going on in the upcoming session. And yeah, it's a real so opportunity, and yeah. to get them all is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So I really hope yes, we can thank turn you. out for them. Yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any information that you want posted on the website? Okay. It would be nice if we could give them a tour of the village just to see what happens to the other thing. Maybe it'll still be light when they, <laughs> when they break up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so there we go. Uh, town clerk's report. Um, I have a election training this coming Friday up at Burke. They are doing new machines that we all have to be oh, gracious me. educated on. Are they going to take the old ones back or are they going to have to leave um, them? I will find that out on Friday. <laughs> and it's going to be both of the machines that we use. The one for the... What's the proper word I want to use? Handy, capped, accessibility. Say, accessibility. Yeah. The one that nobody ever uses? Yeah. Okay. They're mm -hmm. going to redo that one, and oh. it sounds like the new feeder one that everybody puts the ballots in. That's going to be a different trainer training yeah. later on. Well, mm. okay. So they're getting us geared up already for 2024. Mm. Well, good. Um, I'm glad we're planning ahead. Yes. Uh, yes. That's the best thing I could possibly mm. do. <laughs> Yeah, and um, we received a call at home okay. one day last week about a barking dog that had been barking for three days. It's a recurring problem. And this person says, I'm just going to go down, unhook it, and take it to the Humane Society. No. They won't, I don't think they'll take it. They won't. Um... They'll take it if if we had a dog warden to bring it in, but they yeah. they won't take a, a stray, especially if it's not even a stray. No, it was hooked at this house. Yeah. Did they say where was it the same one? Because there was a complaint last meeting. I think Tebbets Road. Tebbets Road. Same. Yes. Same same house. Yes. Okay. So do we still oh, have? I don't know we don't specifically know. the house. Oh, okay. but we, don't know. we don't know. Okay. We Sorry, let's go do ahead. we still have the authority to house at Kim Silt's boarding, even though he's not the dog catcher? If we, we had do. someone who was like our acting dog catcher, like our constable or something, Kim would probably allow uh, a dog to be kept up there. Is the dog registered? Or do we not know? I'm leaning towards no, but I won't say that 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could we confirm it on the list? Like, do you know yes. specifically who yes. it is? Yes. Okay. Then I'll check tomorrow when I get to the office. And then mm -hmm. let us know, and then we can we can act on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. With a temporary housing. Okay. And we have sent out the challenge letters for the voting list. Haven't started getting any back yet. Mm-hmm. Hopefully in the next couple of days so we can get the checklist cleaned up. And recordings are coming in steadily. And I think that's... Oh, and this, um, Ron asked me to bring in this abatement for taxes for two town properties. One is the old bachelor property, the swamp, the swamp, the cranberry meadow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why don't you pass that over so we can see And then see the other time. one is the old store. Great, thank you. That was taken down. Right. So the letter says, we, we do need to act on this, I think, for its grandy We do have to act on it. There are two new town parcels, well, the town parcels that need to be voted on in the 2024 town meeting in order to be non-taxable. These parcels are... 09-01, the former bachelor property, which is the Cranberry Meadow, and 14.72-72, the former store site uh, buyout. For this year, the select board just needs to give permission to the town treasurer to go ahead and abate the 2023 taxes. The taxes on parcel uh, 0901, the Cranberry Meadow, or 255.77, and the taxes on 14.72 or 312.08. Um, please put the approval in writing to the town treasurer so that we have documentation. Thank you, Ron Wells, Lister Chair. Um, and th so tax bills would have been sent to the town? No. They're still... There's well, the reason why they're not sent to the town is because they're still in... They're still in. Um, They're being sent to why? the owners. A period of review. 
Right, because your cranberry meadow one didn't happen until that after was, April yeah. 1st. Yeah, right. that was, so but still, that other one, I thought we got rid of that last year. year. No? The no. listeners haven't changed it. In the it system. hasn't changed anything. Okay, but the... Uh, so we abated them last year. Yeah. Okay. Until they catch it next year. So, so this is something that the listers need to well, put yeah. fix in there. Okay, so I thought they did that store one last year. Okay, so... So I does that mean we have to have articles for town meeting to do that? That's... We have, because of the 10 year, 10 year or eight years? Eight years. Eight years. It does need to be on the, the warning this year that um, the, the town votes to abate all town properties, including the fire department, that they're not taxable. Oh, so that's just oh. a blanket thing that has, has to happen every few years? Every, every eight, eight years. Every eight years, you have, you have to do that. At okay. town meeting. Correct. Mm -hmm. you cannot do it otherwise. Okay, so somebody want to make a motion to abate these two taxes for this year? I'll make a motion to approve the abatement of those taxes. I'll second that motion. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So I'll send you something or the minutes. Do you want something separate? A letter or memo or something saying that the board yeah, voted on it. Okay. We need to have a letter. Yeah, all right. Mm. If you don't want to write it, I will. Oh, I can do that. Good. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think that was on here, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do we all have to sign it? Well, not until we have a letter. So. <laughs> right. and I it's in the minutes to leave. And I was not able to get a quote from Jeff Perry for the basement at the town mm -hmm. office to have it whatever. Still? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, his uncle passed away. Oh. <laughs> so that... Uh-huh. I put him behind, huh? Yes. Okay. So that stuff you sent around today, Brandy, that was kind of confusing, but... Well, I just wanted to keep everybody in the loop. The yeah. fire department does share insurance yeah. with the town. Yeah. Um, that was a claim that the fire department put in mm. for the new piece. Yeah. Um, if we want to... Are you all set? Yes. But they haven't... Well, we do have on... Well, excuse me. So the report... We, we, on, what we do have on the agenda, um, the elevator? That too. Uh, let me finish up real quick with okay. the LCT. Um, it's still in review. Uh, there's no update for us. So, okay, but they have looked at the building. They have looked at the basement. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's so been reviewed. We can Photos expect. have been. Yeah. It's been reviewed. Oops. But yeah, they're backed up because of FEMA. So. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, elevator. Elevator, yeah. please. Those two so it sounds places. like. I kind of threw a fit. Ooh. Skip Lindsay. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Lindsay, please. Just a, a quick question: How how soon do you expect that review to be completed? Because if they deny your insurance and you want to submit a FEMA uh, inventory, damage inventory, that has to be completed by November second. That's right. It's just there's some urgency with that date. I will keep writing mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and we we'll keep bouncing emails, mm -hmm. and including the we had a the end. we we had a, we had a date for the twenty fourth, and we had a date for the October twenty fourth, and then they pushed it back. Back, back to the date that you're to the November date. Oh, she was incorrect. The uh, program manager. Yes, ma'am. She was incorrect. Oh, when she sent that. Oh, when she sent okay. that out. So it. So is the, November, is the November date actually the That's date? That's correct. Yeah. That's the correct date. Yeah. I sent her an email saying that, you know, we need the extra two weeks. Okay. And Thank you, it's sir. Really, it's really November 2nd because I got an email directly from FEMA and not from Michelle saying that you have until November 2nd. Okay. Yeah. It's still a short period so, of time. We got a month, basically. All right. Okay. So I'll keep after. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. Yeah. And I can send them a letter stating the urgency, because if we don't get it in, I could ask for an extension, but that's just no. more paperwork. No. Mm. Just, I'd rather not do the extension if we can just act on it. I would not, rather. I, 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 I would tend to agree. If yeah. we can act on it, we should act on it. So you said November 7th is the last? Second. 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 Okay. November 2nd. 
So we need to have an answer from VLCT. Two weeks prior to that. Two right. weeks prior. So isn't that everybody so, in the same boat? I mean, not all the towns in the same boat? No, it's ours. 60 days after their project scoping meeting. Right. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we already had ours. And uh, I believe the fire department has it next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Scoping meeting. That's right. Mm. So there's and a are few claims in. Two from the fire department and one from us. So just to, a heads up. And Susan Rowell is our, our contact for this case. Uh-huh. Do they have the ability to separate the claims? They, are, they have, each identifiers? have their own claim number. They're unique identifiers, okay. yes. as we have it right now. Okay. They're unique identifiers. Mm -hmm. Which I think is a good thing. It's a really good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, elevator. So, elevator. <laughs> Sounds like... Um, so I wasn't it too impressed with the invoices? <laughs> <laughs> Not terribly impressed. I called. Um, you guys well, have asked we, uh, No, 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 no. No, we just were looking for replacement parts. Yeah. Which basically so, are not available. No, no. Right. So it sounds like in order to actually be to have a in compliance, full running inspectable elevator, there. Yeah, the state is going to look at me in November and go. No chance. Um, so you have to stand in there, wait 10 seconds, flip the lever, and then flick it back, wait another five seconds, and then you push the button, and it sometimes goes and sometimes doesn't go. So, Sounds like... Um, but our inspection from the state is up at the beginning of November. November. So right. Beginning of November, you said? Yeah. The start of November. So that uh, can't just be handled in the meantime by a sign? I mean, I always thought it was kind of confusing because there was no sign that tells people that they have to push the button and hold it. Oh, well, no, but, there, that doesn't even exist anymore. So. There's, but, there's, more, there's a lot more to it. Oh, I realize that, but it, it, if it is possible to do it with the five seconds here, and in the meantime, better than having nothing. Although, you know, one, of the, the, one of the things that they had to do was throw a breaker. And oh. if somebody's in a oh, wheelchair, there's a chance they can't reach up and reach yeah. that oh. breaker. It would have oh, to be one okay. of us assisting in that. Yeah. And unless we're, yeah. So that yeah. would be another sign that, you know, people can. Sounds like. I don't know. To make it accessible, we need an elevator. Yes. To make I mean, us legal. To make us legal. I mean, it, it's, I mean, aside from the really straightforward fact that we should have an accessible town office. We also need to be in compliance, which we are not. Correct. So it seems like we should go out for bids. Am I understanding correctly that we can't, the one that we have is not fixable, so we would need a whole new elevator? Yes, ma'am. Would it be possible, possibly cheaper, to build a ramp? Like, does the base, I don't even know where the elevator goes, but people just need to get to the upstairs, right? Not the downstairs? Correct. Would that be potentially a cheaper? I mean, I'm thinking an elevator is probably really expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's up to the board. <laughs> and these are all these are all options. Yeah. Okay. We've had an elevator for a reason. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it's for moving big things. And we've taken advantage of it. We built mm -hmm. a ramp. Uh, the ramp would, would have to kick. The ramp it would have, have to. Have a roof over it. The ramp would have to kick out mm -hmm. onto the right hand side. Right hand side moving. Yeah, that's right. And that's where the septic. That's where the septic is. Is. And we would have to cover it. it have to be a covered structure. Um, we can get quotes for yeah, lots of different it's options. It's supposed to be getting me a quote, and then I can go from there as far as going but for bid. I think yeah. that we have to we have to start with the replacement because yeah. we already have mm -hmm. the so you would structure. Get that's a quote. In there. The guys that are working on it now. Correct. Do they He's supposed to do installations? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what's their name? Access Mobility. Mm, thank you. Out of Burlington. Out of Burlington. Yeah. Do they have that time frame on when they're going to have you a quote? <laughs> Probably not. No, I'm going to have to bug. Yeah. Yeah. Of, yeah. But, oh, uh, sure, it'll be more than $8,000. So. But, uh, but, but a ramp is an option. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe it, if we see it, the quote, we it's could an option, just and then we can, think about we can, it. We can, we can work on it from there. Except we know that we're going to be out of compliance. Until then. Until then. Yeah, yeah we need to. Uh, and um, that's unfortunate for us, but. Well, that kind of position does that put us in? I mean, it, is it's it. Actually um, fine, I'm uh, assuming. We'll, we'll, we will be fine. Even though we can say we are working towards this, we are getting doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every doesn't matter. public place has to have a have, has to have an yeah. has to no have way this. It would pass inspection. Mm -hmm. We won't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting the breaker off and on. Yes. No. So we will be fined, and we'll be fined on a regular basis until we until find a mm -hmm. find a solution. Okay. Well, at least we have a contract solution, but mm -hmm. um, but we will be fined continuously. Gentlemen. Please. I'm, I know that you like talking amongst yourselves, but share it with a group. Sharing secrets. You know, do you, do you guys want some gum or something? Do we have some gum? <laughs> no, we're just wondering, I'm just wondering, is there a difference between the ADA compliance statute if you do an elevator as opposed to a ramp? Yes, there are three different criteria. Okay. The ramp, if we were to do a ramp, it has to be able to have a specific orientation and grade, mm -hmm. and it has to have a specific turn angle, um, which we do allow based on the really simple estimates that I've done on the property space that we have. We would have to do two turns to make it up to the level. Um, we have enough space at the top. It can work. but. It's really not ideal, especially since we have an elevator structure that's already established. Mm -hmm. um, if we can replace that, that would make the most sense. If it's not cost effective, then we have to think of other options. But we don't really know what those options are because we don't have any quotes yet. Mm -hmm. um, so, Mr. Lindsay, I completely agree. We have to think about all those different variables. Yeah. But uh, in this case, the first step would probably be see if we can actually replace the elevator system. The footprint is there. Makes sense. Let's try that first. Otherwise, a ramp structure is the next best bet and probably long-term more cost-effective, but we just don't really have the numbers. What about those lift things that go on railings? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The chairs? Yeah. I'm just curious if, like, I know we should probably see the quote before we can set up any other You know, other I have never pursued it. those, so I don't, if you want to take a look, that'd be great. I I see, see. Well, Is there anybody in town that, that works for, uh, I don't think that allows stair chair. What? The term about stair chair, I don't think that's allowed for, mm. that'll allow that for a day. I, I mean, there I, must be a reason why the select board decided to do an elevator in the first place. Mm -hmm. It was before my time. Years ago Michael, or whatever speak to it was. No, it wasn't before my okay. time. Before. So we don't have anyone who can speak to that directly. But there might be somebody in town. If, if you but know, Michael, do you think of know anybody who might have? I don't. Okay. So we don't really have a direct yeah. answer for that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, our our best bet is to get the quote. Mm -hmm. And then, if that quote is exorbitant, see what the quote is to build a ramp system. And then we can approach other options after that. The footprint is not ideal for a ramp system, but if we can't afford the elevator replacement, then we have to move on to the next steps. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I can't believe that a ramp is even legal. I mean, somebody it's, who can hardly walk it's, uh, is not going to have a good time walking up a long Well, way. we'll have to address, and I'm sorry, we'll it, it's been a cursory attempt on my part to oh. look at the ADA requirements. Okay. Thank um, you. I've done my best, but the elevator is obviously ideal. Right. Um, it works when it works. It doesn't work right now. Obviously, we have to address it. Um, the ramp would be kind of a triage option at best. It's not a permanent fix. There are ways to do this, but I think that we have to start with, can we fix the elevator? Um, that's, that's, that's my request. But if you all want to chime in, I will. I think that makes all the sense here. in the world. We've invested quite a bit in this, mm -hmm. so. Let's see if we can make that work first.
Okay. Miss Brandy, that. Moving on. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, income over the last two weeks. Cash receipts took in $250,279.57. Breaking it down to um, property taxes, delinquencies, library donations, fundraisers, recording, vault, fees, zoning, etc. Uh, State of Vermont transfers, um, $101.50 for traffic fines. VHFA uh, paid uh, property taxes, delinquencies, $6,087.90. Payroll, $10,715.10. AP, $50,438.73. I transfer $355,000 over to the money market from the checking. Um, so as we continue with the FEMA account, um, currently we are at negative $78,816.12. Can you repeat that, Miss? There, $78,816.12. $78, $78, also, um, so that's the money that we have spent. We've spent on road repairs, and yes. that's all. Um, as well, <laughs> in the highway. I, there was a, there might have been a sniffle in there, but, uh, sorry, Ms. Brandy, please continue. Mm -hmm. Um, also the highway is negative $72,090.40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Ms. Durst. Does that call, include labor? What's that? FEMA? That, yeah, that, no, it does not. Yeah. It does not. Consider payroll. Oh, so okay. That's material. It's materials only. Uh, payroll, correct. So yep. payroll is would be another be chunk. That. And the, the equipment rental and that's all. That's in FEMA. That's in with the seventy-eight thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that is that is that all flood? FEMA. We, no. Yes. FEMA yes. But the seventy-eight thousand is that all flood yes. repairs? That we is were, all material. Before the flood, we were we were thirty something in the red, correct? That was for the highway for or for FEMA. For the highway. So highway is different from FEMA. So now, what do you? So payroll is included in the highway. So yeah. that's stuff that that. Um, but there, yeah, there's no income coming in yet. Well, you you told us that uh, at. At the beginning of the fiscal year, mm -hmm. there was that negative. I think that's maybe both what he's highway, talking about. Both highway have been, yeah, they're and we, negative. And we negative. increased the tax taxes to cover to that. Fact. Right. Right, but the so 78 is the total that the highway no, is. No, no, no. No, you had a different 70 number. 72 is FEMA. 72, 70 70 70 72. 090. 40 cents. And, and that includes the 30,000. Whatever we were in the negative before, oh, yeah. Keeps, yeah. that's the total of everything. Yeah. Until totally taxes right. come in and I do my transfer to pay off that goes what we approve to the highway, mm -hmm. it's going to be negative. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll get our state class three, uh, two and three roads, which is 18000 that goes to the highway, but nothing else is going to go until I'm done paying the school. They're $1.3 um, Then I will do my transfers to pay the highway. To get you out of the so home. this seventy-eight thousand will change. Seventy-eight thousand is FEMA, so it'll keep going in the hole because we don't budget for it. Right. Which is until, different until than your get, highway. Until we get reimbursed from FEMA. Correct. Right. Correct, and we'll still, I'm sure, have to pay a portion. Or still. We won't get all of it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. At least seventy-five percent, possibly ninety. Right. 90 at best. Mm. That would be kind of a 90 at best. So we're like some so the state. FEMA, um, counting payroll, that'll bring the highway up. There's different things, but, but until then, it's going to be in the negative. We're going to stay in the red. Um, other things. So money is coming in. Super good, which is super great. Mm -hmm. right. We don't have to go out for a loan. Um, on line of credit. 
other questions? So this week I'm going out for um, fuel bids. Great. Yep. Um, for all three locations, the garage, the town hall, and the town office. Um, I will send um, the RFP um, around to you guys and tag you in it. I send it to five fuel companies, and then you guys get to make the decision of who we're, we're going to go with. Okay. Thank you. Anything else for Ms. Brandy? Okay. I'm technically not chairing this meeting, so. Okay. I so, I mean, do you have to go? Else. I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we did sign the right of entry for V Trans Culver Project. Um, we needed to give them permission to put their temporary road over our little crafty park or messed up park and they're going to put everything back nice when they're done. Wait, when I think it's a very nice park. What? When did we sign did. up? You just signed it. I signed some minutes. Hmm? I don't, I don't think I signed it. No, you didn't sign it. Just the chairman had to sign it. But since oh, okay. was going to leave, I just okay. had him sign yeah. it. Gotcha. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I didn't sign it. But. <laughs> okay. And we also, uh, he also signed the amendment to the State of Vermont Grant Agreement, FY23 Grants and Aid, an extension to for another year. Um, and I don't think we had a choice. Hmm? No. It's just an extension. Yeah, the, it's an extension. The work time would have ended on September 30th. Right. Mm -hmm. Friday. Yeah. So I don't think we really had an option. No. Yeah. So I yeah. felt compelled to sign that. Yeah. yeah. I was. I had a copy and yeah. was going to compel you to sign it. Okay. <laughs> well, so you didn't have to do that. All right. Um, okay. So the meeting, now we have a whole other year. The meeting is turned over to Lizzie Higgins and Diana. So Please I just put a thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Mm. So I put on here that just a little status of the Route 14 culvert replacement. I'm told that they hope to put the project out to bid at the end of this week, and then they have to wait at least seven days. You know, I mean, he still thinks it's going to happen middle of October, but we'll see. So is transportation putting the advertisement out or? Yeah. Oh no, they are. Okay. It's all their project, yeah. So I, haven't, I didn't realize it hadn't gone out to bid yet. I mean, I didn't know. It's been on a fast track, but I think they have a lot of little things that had to be cleaned up. They had to get a right of entry from the fire department. They had to negotiate the agreement with the fire department for the sewage disposal and things like that. And they got our right of entry now. They'll do that tomorrow. So, then we could talk about the local hazardous hazard mitigation plan. Uh, an update is due early in 24. Michael, you want to tell us what that's sure. about? Um, so, um, the local hazard mitigation plan um, is would be due to be revised and, and re-approved um, in February of 2024. Um, and with the flooding, I just kind of put a question in my head about the hazard mitigation plan. So um, that's when I discovered that it does need to be uh, revised. Um, so I, I, made, I have some calls in to people. Um, we are on a list. Um, to get uh, financial support from FEMA for um, putting together a new uh, revised um, plan. Um, FEMA right now hasn't awarded the amount of money that's kind of sitting on their money because of all of the nationwide disasters that mm. uh, they've been dealing with, um, including Vermont and Woodbury. Um, so that would come directly from FEMA and not through regional planning? Or uh, well, it, um, it would come, yeah, directly from yeah. FEMA to the mm. town. Mm. Um, I don't know what the amount will be, um, and they don't know yet either, so they're kind of waiting on that. Um, 
but they did have Woodbury on the list knowing this is the Vermont Emergency mm -hmm. Management Department. They have Woodbury on the list to receive funds. Okay. Um, knowing that the plan was um, due to be revised. The last two plans in 2013 and 2018 both uh, received um, support money um, for the, and, and both times we contracted with the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission mm -hmm. for assistance. So the plan that I looked at briefly, I don't think I had a printout, but um, do you think it needs much? I mean, you guys, looks like you guys did a really good job five years ago. Yeah, I don't think it needs much. It definitely needs to be re-looked at. There mm -hmm. could be different situations. Um, and it is it is a fairly elaborate process, similar mm -hmm. to a town plan, where there, there are hearings. Mm -hmm. um, when we did it in 2018, um, there were, uh, was a survey that went out to kind of determine what people in town felt were local hazards mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. local mm -hmm. shortcomings in, in an emergency. Um, and then there are, there are goals that are set. There are different public hearings. Um, one we worked on it in 2018. Um, it was basically Skip and I that did most of the work on that, and mm -hmm. mostly Skip, um, with the Regional Planning Commission. Um, so we didn't really have an emergency management director or a functioning planning commission at, at that point in time. Um, Skip and I did it as select board members. Um, and it doesn't have to be the select board or the planning commission, or it can be a committee of people, which is what we had in 2018. I believe that was pretty much true in 2013 also. So we can form a group um, however we wish. Um, I did talk to the planning commission about this last week, and um, at least one member is interested and willing to work on it, and I am myself. Um, just because we know the select board is pretty well buried in, in mm -hmm. uh, debris from the flood. So, um, uh, and then we'll see who else um, might want to help out with it. Um, I, I've contacted um, a member, a rep, or a person at the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission. Um, so they're, they were aware of it already. Also, uh, I've contacted Stephanie Smith who was our contact person um, in 2018 mm. um, for funding and other support. So she's part of the Vermont Emergency Management Department. Um, so, and the reason that this plan is important, I mean, we put the plan together, I don't think anyone has looked at it since it was approved by FEMA. It gets approved by FEMA, not by, mm. it has to be approved by the select board, by the town. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically a document to give the town funding for emergencies or like the flooding that happened, the FEMA money that we're getting. The town would be able to get money regardless if, if they had a local hazard mitigation plan, but um, FEMA automatically gives the uh, town 75%. And then there's a 25% match that the town is responsible for. The state uh, emergency management department helps with that other 25 percent. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have a local emergency operations plan in place, a local hazard mitigation plan in place, you've signed on to the state's um, bridge and road standards, um, mm -hmm. and if you are part of the, um, it's called the National Insurance Flood something or other, um, which um, all of those things the town has in place, uh, we get 12 and a half percent from the state to cover our 25%. Uh, there's another, a new category where if there's um, zoning bylaws that address river corridors, um, which the town mm -hmm. hasn't done, and I don't know if it would even, I don't know anything about mm -hmm. it, but that would give us another 5% or 17.5% mm -hmm. that the state would pay us. So it pays for us to have this thing in place. Um, there's no penalty if we don't. Um, and if we have start the process in February of 2024 comes along, as long as we have a, an initial draft into the Vermont Emergency Management Department, we're still good um, in the eyes of FEMA. Um, so um, obviously we need to 
get this started. Um, and uh, let's see what we can come up with. But well, I think, you know, with the 2018 draft, it was very thorough. Um, and I don't think there's a lot that we will need to change on, but we need to at least look at it and figure that out. Um, so I'm willing to, to, to be on that committee. Um, Jim Schweighelm on the Planning Commission is also mm -hmm. willing to be on it. And maybe we'll just put out word um, from some of our other local officials, somebody from the fire department, um, who are maybe our emergency management director. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. How does that work with the, all, the whole other emergency management planning? Is this something well, it, it could parallel? Be, or I yeah, would think it would parallel, yeah. <laughs> well, kind of overlapping or... Uh, redundant? I'm sure it would be overlapping too, yeah. yeah. I think there should be one process. Huh? Should be one process. Mm -hmm. It could be one process? Should be. Should be. Sure. Yeah. The same people should be involved in both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and, that makes uh, sense. And it should be a, a strong document. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked at the last one and I think it, it needs a lot of work in terms of uh, Strengthening it and putting us in a better position for us. Mm -hmm. It's always, if you're applying for money places, it's always good to be able to quote a document like that, mm -hmm. but even if it's required or not, and have it be worded strong, more strongly in terms of the work that needs to happen. Because there is a lot of work that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. On the plan, you mean? Probably, we need a lot of work that needs to happen on the plan? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're sure. ready to make it resilient. From, no, from, from the, on the ground. One, one of the shortcomings of the last rendition of the this local hazard mitigation plan is that the town really didn't do any of the. It's like a town plan. There are goals, mm. things mm -hmm. to be done, mm. um, and really, I don't. You know, I was on the select board for a good number of years, so I'm as much fault as this. The select board should sort of be reviewing it once a year, saying, "Okay, we did this. Check mm. that off." Um, but basically, the plan never got looked at after it was approved. Mm. Um, so that's part of the mm. work I think, I don't know, that I assume Norman is alluding to. But mm -hmm. there's probably other things mm -hmm. in the document, or mm -hmm. not in the document, that mm -hmm. should be included. So, are you working on a plan, Norm? Some kind of a plan? No. We'll get to my section a little bit. But, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, I just don't see how these. But, but yeah, there's overlap and all this stuff. I, you know, yeah. the. Uh, um, I think we had a good example uh, with this last storm mm -hmm. about you know the things that need to happen if we're going to be able to do better in storms like that. Mm. Well, now we know. Or maybe before, you know, we didn't know mm -hmm. that this would happen quite that. But now we can review all, mm -hmm. all of what happened and figure mm -hmm. out how we can better position ourselves to withstand that. And I think that would strengthen the position plan and so on, mm -hmm. from lessons learned and so forth. So sure, should be one process. Uh, and, you know, I don't know that there's, yeah, I, enough said. You were talking about getting together a committee. Yeah. And, and an emergency planning, uh, emergency management committee. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you think you can you want me to get to my section now? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We'll get this. Well, we do it right now. It's related. Yeah. Why don't we just yeah. continue the conversation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, well, it's up to the chair. We've got an agenda. <laughs> well, if you'd like to wait, we can wait. Mike, Michael, are you going to stay? I'll, I'll, Go ahead. I'll, I'll okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So the Planning Commission, at least the couple that were there at that meeting, they're interested in pursuing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so shall we skip over to Mr. Larrabee and hear what's going on with the roads? Uh, well, we're still, still repairing from the flood. Mm -hmm. uh, I've spent a few days hauling sand, mm -hmm. winter sand. Oh, uh, did we get our truck? Truck, no. Our new truck? We won't see a truck for months. Really? I thought they were supposed we'll to start we'll making it, like, in. last month. Uh, October 1st is when it's supposed to be built. Okay. And then it goes in the shop for the 
body. Ah, okay. All right. So we're gonna, yeah. You're okay for now with the what's there? Well, everything the seems winter? to be holding together. <laughs> the one that that new truck is replacing is tired. Yeah. You know, we're kind of trying to limp it along. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, we mm -hmm. won't we won't see a truck for a few more months. Oh, okay. Um, so going on to the agenda, mm -hmm. uh, I did look at the rail trail. Oh. And that's a monster. Mm -hmm. um, it's I'm estimating 70 feet deep from the trail floor bed down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And when you got a, a washout like that or a mudslide like that, you have to start at the bottom. Yeah. And right at the bottom, there's a brook. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you either got to build a bridge to get across that brook to get material there. Mm -hmm. And looking at the what's what that bank consists of is little tiny chips of granite mm -hmm. and it's like ice when, when you're on it when ice with an excavator it just there's mm -hmm. nothing there and so i see it being very dangerous and a lot of a lot of work so i'm going to recommend we put it to bid uh, to see if we can get a contractor mm -hmm one that has more time than we do. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're a month and we're going to be looking at snow. Mm -hmm. So, and we've still got a bunch more work to do outside of, of that. Mm -hmm. I would love to tackle it, but I just, with the time and, mm -hmm. and the scope of work, I think it's a lot more than what the highway can do. You think there's any possibility that FEMA might not be willing to Jump in on that? What do you mean by jumping in? Pay. <laughs> Have that be on their list of things that they'll support, Michael? You, is, the, is the rail trail a town responsibility? It's not a town road, is it? It is a town, it's but we do have a lease, and we signed a lease 12, 20 years ago or so, and it does say that repairs will be the responsibility of the town. Now, who's going to enforce that lease? I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's a document that I sent to FEMA. Yeah. And, you know, that's a docu document that compels the town to fix it. Yeah. So... So they won't really have a choice to say... Yes well, they always have a choice, but with the paperwork that I would submit, you know, you number one, you would mm -hmm. have to use the town purchasing policy mm -hmm. and demonstrate that you've done that to select a vendor to do it, a yeah. contractor to do it. And secondly, you know, for an emergency repair, I would have to get an estimated cost of the repair. Mm -hmm. Then I would submit a damage inventory. Then finally, when the final repair is done, I would submit a second damage inventory, indicating that the, the, the damage is fully complete, you know, the, the remedy is fully complete, and it's usable. So, from what I read, and, and talking with FEMA, they would consider paying for that, but the documentation is the key. Mm -hmm. So they do have our lease agreement with Swenson's, and I've highlighted that section that says the town is responsible to maintain it. So that's step number one. So mm -hmm. all I need now is direction from the select board on which vendor are you going to choose and an estimated cost, and I can move forward with submitting a damage inventory. So who would write up the specs for a bid? Not the FEMA point of contact. Huh? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not the select board acting chair either. <laughs> I, 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 I would have no idea how to write anything like that. That's oh. just for sure. But there has been some work. You know, this gentleman, Peter Halverson, yeah. has done a lot of work. And yeah. he's identified a contractor who is willing and able to uh -huh. do the work. Yeah. So, and I've sent you guys all those email, mm -hmm. the email strings. So, that mm -hmm. that would be my mm -hmm. first stop. Would be to mm -hmm. talk with Peter Halverson, mm -hmm. contact his contractor, and move forward in whatever direction the select board sees necessary. I can't really imagine any emergency repair. Because you know yeah. it's either going to be done, yeah. or so it's going to have to be done in one. 
Well, I, my, okay. while I was there, I even looked into maybe moving the road, like up and around the, the washout or the slide. Oh, yeah. And it's all wedge. I mean, it's like steep wedge. No I mean, way. it's incredible how they built a railroad on there. Yeah. You know, I mean, they were, there were no permits back then, I don't right. suppose. Well, I think that's but. what that's what that road is sitting on, is yeah. all these chips from, yeah. from yeah. the ranch, the, the hardwood basins. ranch sheds, mm -hmm. right, where they chip yeah. it off and yeah. they lugged yeah. it out there and, and used it mm -hmm. for, to build a road. Well, well. well if we're going to do a formal bid, we need some specs to work off of. And right. have a center or anyone else can bid on it, but you have to have some specs. And they have to include the federal requirements and the bid specs and all that kind of thing. So. Right. Question so that's is, an engineer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. question, the question is whether you need an engineer or not, or, or a, a civil engineer or whatever to right. to put that together. And I imagine that's a PM eligible as an expense for a project like that. And also, I would guess that um, those have to look at the the rest of the trail, at least Woodbury section. Right. Or maybe so the rest of it. For the, for the rest of it, I can fix. There's yeah. no problem with. So that would go in with your FEMA stuff. Yes. It's just that really big wash that, or landslide that is. Yeah, no, I understand that, but the, the, the question, I guess, for Skip maybe is whether if you're going to bid for a contract or they should do the whole thing and just have one, one contract rather than have you done it. It's just it's a question for you what, what makes it more sense. It makes my life easier, for sure. You want to make his life easier? <laughs> we have a, I mean, do we have to go to bid for an engineer to write a spec? Not usually. Uh, in federal stuff, you're. Well, I'm, I'm familiar with a different venue, but uh, we didn't have to bid engineers uh, or architects. Mm -hmm. um, you had to mm -hmm. uh, maybe get quotes and then select the one that was most appropriate. But I'll, I'm not the authority. Uh, that's the public itself. So, uh, Fema okay. stresses the fact that you should follow your town's procurement policy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, if it's over, what is it, $8,000, you have to go up to bid. It's as simple as that. Well, that's what our yeah. procurement policy said on the last at the last meeting. Chris said that there's some other. Yeah, I was really confused. I don't know. Well, me correct. too. I don't know. But this is going to be well over that. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be Look, a really. Just for the engineering. Oh, just the engineering. Yeah, yeah the repair too. Uh -huh. Well, the repair is going to be way over that. So, Skip, I did have a question about this. If if we were to you know go through the process get bits for it is there some way to get a commitment from fema that they would pay before we actually hire a contractor to do it i could get a commitment okay but you i would you, you still would have to go through the bidding process right. we'd have to demonstrate that we're going through a procurement policy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i have a handout i'll show you guys mm -hmm. and then what happens is you submit this damage inventory and that goes directly to FEMA. And then FEMA looks at that and all the supporting documentation, including procurement policies, including uh, bid specs, and en the engineering and stuff like that, an estimated cost. And then FEMA would assign a project number. And once they assign a project number, that's like a green light. Okay. Okay. So we could have a, a definite promise from them basically that there would be funding before we have someone do the work. Partial. Mm -hmm. Partial, 75%, yeah. right? Yeah, well, what you could do is... There's some legwork we have to do before. Okay. But what you could do in the stipulation, you could also put some sort of caveat in there saying that, you know, this is all contingent upon FEMA funding. Mm -hmm. You know, in the short term. Yeah, sure. Depends mm -hmm. on how quickly you want to have it fixed. Mm -hmm. Now, as steep as that bank is, is that something they can work on in the wintertime? Uh, they'll mm -hmm. probably double the price in the wintertime because everything's harder in the wintertime. Right. Mm -hmm. So again, we do have a November 2nd due date for these damage inventories. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, that's unless I write for an extension. So you got to let mm -hmm. me know soon. Mm -hmm. The damage inventory is an estimate. Of, it's not, not, not the bid process. It's just that's correct. Getting an estimate. Right. Of, which you or someone could do as an estimate. So the damage, right. I'm sorry, the damage inventory includes what? I'll show you in a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, when we get to your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Back to it's, you. Right. Okay. <laughs> so sorry to open that can of worms. Can of worms to open. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Urgency. Yeah. 
So I, I really, you know, like I told you before, you, you tell us what's going on and then you look at all these little things that I add on here. <laughs> Some of which might would be more important than others. So next is the old corn wheel. When I went up there oh, after the week when you had um, done the work and I saw your equipment sitting up at the top, I should have called you that day and asked you could you just buzz through that other those other two roads, but I didn't, so now no. it's probably gone. So. It is <laughs> gone. Um, <laughs> well, there's the, there's fence there. The, the people have fence there that prevents me from cutting any trees or clearing it out. Really? They've up at the this, top? Yeah, up at the top. They've got this like really tall black fence. In the highway right away? Yeah, very much in the right away. It's like yeah. landscape fabric. Yeah, that's yeah. There's no I mean we can't work around that. Can't just take it down? Oh we can take it down, sure. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want to be shot. I'm oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, no, I don't know what I don't know. Well, um, that's something that has to be dealt with, though. Okay. We can't, yeah. We can't. We can't do anything with that mm -hmm. uh, until then. And we have to somehow let those people know. That, I, I'd be willing you know, to go talk to them. Um, I did talk to a neighbor. I had a conversation with a neighbor. Who was here? The one who was here last meeting. Um. I, yeah. Um. And he, f I actually straight up asked if it would be safe for me to go and, you know, mm -hmm. try to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And he didn't think that there would be a problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to go and, it would be the second time I've tried to have He's a conversation. Not the, but the about. man who lives up there is not the owner. It, it's I've a never woman, right? Yeah. But does she live up there? Yes. I think, yeah. So okay. around 6 o'clock is when she pulls in. Okay. Do you know who, oh, do we say names? We don't know. Okay, never mind. I'll skip the show. His name is Lincoln. I don't remember okay. her last name. Um, so if I were to go up and try to just talk to her, I, I would ask her if she can take down the fence and explain that we're trying to do road clearing. Are there other things? Well, the, I should the, bring what up? they don't recognize is that those two roads on each side, side of their property are town roads. Right. With a 25, with a 50 foot right of way. I could bring that up and, too uh, nicely. Yeah. So, and I could. They were very well aware of that when Chuck removed the camper yeah. um, of the setbacks. Right. It's just they have chose not to abide it, and nobody mm -hmm. has stuck to the guidance of the town mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. there's setbacks. Mm -hmm. and there's no yeah, mm -hmm. parking lot. Park yeah, there's no, you know, there's no, no, they haven't done anything that would require a zoning permit, except drive vehicles onto the property. So there's no, you know, right. but, but still they have to be out of the right away, which is 25 feet from the center line of the road. And if maybe. I were to go try to have a conversation between now and the next meeting and then come back to you guys with the results of that conversation, do you think it would be helpful? What are you looking at for time-wise to bring the equipment back up there? Oh, I can, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly short job. It's not, it, right. I, can, I would assume I'd bring the loader with the mower on it and just, just slash back the brush. Is that what you want? Is that what we're mm -hmm. looking for? Mm -hmm. Somehow to just to make it clear that this is a town road, and we'll, right. you know, so either that widen, means widen it or back. Yeah. Yeah. So you hit a camper, just Maybe. keep driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, um, the camper's in the right away. Mm -hmm. There's two campers. Oh yeah, the camper is the, right the fence is. I mean, almost all of their stuff is in is in our right away. Mm -hmm. Because the two roads go out around them, and they're like right in the middle, mm -hmm. and most of their whole mm -hmm. habitat is in our right way. So if the camper's there more than 180 days, do they need a zoning permit for that? No, uh, they're not. I don't think they're even living in. I don't think they're. Oh, they are. They are. They are living in the one that's right by the road, not that's the other the one. The guy lives in that one. Oh. Well, got mother of two too. kids. They've got a big tent there also. Yeah. Well, there's two kids. Two kids? There's two oh. kids. I think they have to be permanent structures before the zoning. Well, there's no pallet no, structure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That counts. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> well, we, never mind. We There's another, another um, zoning enforcement case that we went after somebody for living in a RV. 
But anyways, um, it's, <laughs> it's never easy. So if you, you know, maybe what I could do is give you a copy, make you, a, I've made this copy before, but a copy of the survey that shows where the roads are. Okay, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe if we gave, somewhere. showed them that. Oh. Give them a date. Say the road crew's coming on this date. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to? Pick can, a date. Can I be a devil's advocate? Just do we need two roads up there? Don't isn't the spur possible? I've always thought since we went through so much trouble to get the bypass approved and owned by the town, that that old one that it's replacing, you know. Why worry about it? Wow. That's bad, but but the but still the other one is part of the snowmobile trail, right? The exactly. one, yeah. right? I don't think we should let people take over town roads. Yeah, that's the other. Like it, it sets a bad precedent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I was just being advocate. That's all. Okay. Then we'll <laughs> go back. <laughs> I'll keep playing. <laughs> okay. So where were we? Um, that was so. why I put that in there um, for the. Possible at clearing of the two short town roads. So you really want to take that on again? I mean, I'll go up and talk to him. I have no problem doing mm -hmm. that. I, I don't know if I'll be wasting my breath or not, but yeah. it's worth a try, right? Okay, and so. if it makes sense for me to give them a date, like tell them the town road crew is going to come such and such date, mm -hmm. I can do that. Um, I would just need mm -hmm. a date. Any time before snow. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. I mean, I can, I can, it's, it, like I said, it's not a lot of time, machine time there, so mm -hmm. uh, any time mm -hmm. before snow, I can switch gears and make it happen. Mm -hmm. okay. got five days. Five days. <laughs> <About> five days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to snow? Well, I, I would urge you to be careful. <laughs> yeah, I might bring a friend. there's been tension there yeah. for other reasons other than this, so. Okay. Um, I'll be cautious. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm not going to come in causing no, people to be upset, saying, hopefully. You, know, so. you have a very nice way about you. Off. Thanks, I'm going to try to use that. That's my plan. We'll see. Yeah, yeah my, niece, my niece lives in Texas. They had um, baseball size hail today. Wow. Yeah. So, Hell yeah. <laughs> Broke some windows. Hmm. Can so, I yeah, ask we more in. about the other side of Old Quarry Road? I was going to email and then my week completely fell apart. Um, so the stuff that we had talked about, yes. did all that stuff get completed? Yes, ma'am. So I could tell, I could reach out to um, the people that um, were concerned and tell them that these things have been taken care of and hopefully yes. that They know help. what's been done. On the, okay. I'm sure mm -hmm. they've walked it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they have too. <laughs> you, you can tell them that we've, we've done what we're going to. Yeah. Uh, we actually put we did some fixing on the class three part of Old Tory today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was some washing remaining from the flood. How far does that go? And how far does? The class three portion. Right to their house. Oh, okay. It stops right in front of their house. Oh, okay. And then it turns to class four. Mm -hmm. So they they had complaints about the mm -hmm. work that we did on the class yeah. four portion, and uh, we have remedied some of those some of those complaints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether it's to their satisfaction or not, I'm not sure. But I feel like we've made an attempt. Yeah. And, uh, I think that as far as mm -hmm. maintenance on the road. Yes, yeah. that's, that's it's all within those mm -hmm. perimeters. Yeah. Um, incidentally, today we actually took down their phone line, so actually it wasn't it was very much an accident, but oh, no. they may look at it differently. <laughs> 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 um, oh, so geez. we got to deal. I've got to deal with that. I no. call, call the phone company and have them come. No. It crosses the road and yeah. they're spreading gravel on the road. Mm -hmm. and the, the, no. the buck, the, which they wanted. Yeah. 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 So did, anyway. Did anybody mention to them? Like did somebody stop and knock on the door and tell them that the 
um, Whoops, the that, uh, phone line got knocked down? I don't think anybody was home. Oh, okay, gotcha. Through the day. There was no vehicles mm -hmm. in the yard. Mm -hmm. and okay. Usually they'll come out if they, you know, uh -huh. they're there working, mm -hmm. but didn't see anybody, so I'm assuming nobody was there. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. we're not equipped to fix telephone lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if we were, I would have just fixed it, but, mm -hmm. um, you know. So that, that's the phone companies. So we'll get another nasty email, you think? I was thinking not if they have we could nip it another file on their telephone. <laughs> <laughs> on their cell phone? Yeah, they're, they're gonna have to take a ride in order to do it. Oh right. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, no, it's uh, whatever. It was an accident. Mm -hmm. So right. an accident has to be fixed. Mm -hmm. and but, but when did they get home and get mad because nobody left them a note? Well, I was thinking I could nip that in the bud. I was going to reach out anyway just to sort of close yeah, the loop with that. Of, it's happened so I could today. use that opportunity to say, hey, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah. Feel free to reach out to them. Okay. But, you know, we'll get it. We'll get it fixed. Mm. So, and then your next one is should the uh, inventory have other class four roads? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, there are some that we never go on and we never use and we wouldn't fix anyways. Um, I don't know if there are any that we might be called on to fix that our people live on. I think we would have probably heard them by now. I don't know. Well, I think if you do one, you got to do them all. To no. A certain degree, no. No. So a lot of them are just like those two ones we were just talking about. There, nobody uses them anyways. Well, I can There's tell you for sure that people do use the Ho Chi Minh Trail, yeah. Woodbury well, Mountain Road. Yeah. Uh, um, and you went up there to, to Woodbury to the Slayton Pond Road. So Did Tim has. I I've been through since the flood. And I could go back through and like make mm -hmm. notes of mm -hmm. what spots are worse, what spots aren't. To me, I guess it would be kind of a matter of like if we think FEMA will pay, then yeah, we should get them fixed. Um, the Ho Chi Minh one? Yeah, I mean, people use it's it. It's worse than it was? So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And people don't mm -hmm. live on it. And, and, and we have people never. People use those roads are Doesn't people with off, like off road that? vehicles. And that's Ho Chi Minh? the main reason that. They're trashed. Mm -hmm. So why should the town pay to fix them and just let them be the way they are? The town really should reclassify those roads mm -hmm. as trails, where the town would remain on, mm -hmm. on ownership, but they aren't responsible mm -hmm. for maintaining. Because the Ho Chi Minh Trail is no longer, I mean, that would be thousands and thousands of dollars to repair mm -hmm. in the shape that it is. Well, well, it wouldn't be a FEMA thing anyway. They only restore right. it to the way it was before the flood. Right, so I'm not talking well, about trying to... to prove that you've done yeah. work. Yeah, I'm not, trying to, I'm not talking about trying to fix them and make them, like, as good as old Quarry Road is. Mm -hmm. I'm, I guess what I was thinking was that if FEMA is willing to pay for damages that were causing the flood, there were some significant damages to both those roads that made them worse than they were. They were already bad, but now they're like worse than they were. Yeah, well that, that would be female eligible. That, mm -hmm. I believe that part of it. Well, for third class four, we looked into that when when the um, Eagles Ledge, uh, Eagles Ledge, Nichols Ledge section was, was being considered and we're told that they will cover class four roads if the town has been com uh, maintaining those roads historically. So those other ones, like, I don't know when we ever go up to Slayton Pond Road, certainly not uh, the Woodbury Mountain Road. Right. The, the last time I was on the, um, the Slayton Pond Road was when Harry Daly was the road foreman. We were mm -hmm. actually, the Regional Planning Commission was looking to do some Class 4 uh, model work for the <laughs> beginning of the... Um, municipal roads general permit um, mm. and to get through a major section of the road we had um mows old side by side and we were <laughs> creeping along about two miles an hour to uh. even progress on uh. the road it's, yeah. it's in really bad shape and i can imagine with the flood with the culverts that weren't working 
at all, um, that that road is, is significantly more damaged than it was. But, um, but I don't really see where it makes sense for the town to repair those. Um, and they haven't, uh, we haven't heard from the landowner up there, the uh, Northeast Wilderness Trust. Mm -hmm. They haven't come to us complaining about anything. Well, they like it that way. They don't have a road. Yeah. I don't think they really care if anyone ever goes up. Well, um, so no. I'm going to speak as the public since everybody's kind of chipping. Yeah, what the heck. <laughs> um, so my class four, um, which connects to Hattie Bell, um, old Cabot Road, um, and then at the intersection it connects to Hattie Bell. Um, last year we, the road crew put in um, two or three culverts, um, but our neighbor has had to dump in huge money um, for washouts mm -hmm. from that storm. Um, so yeah, I do think that. Um, so is that you should, think that's one that would that would deserve to be maintained by the town? It has been maintained in the past. Uh, culverts are supposed to be maintained by the town. Yeah, but on any class four. Right. Um, so yeah. So you said that they were maintained. You said they, they were replaced by in. the town. Yeah. Oh, okay. The town put in culverts. So the town has been maintaining that road. Yes. Yeah. As far as culverts and, mm -hmm. yeah, ditching. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I do believe that there are some class fours, and we've yeah. done culverts. Yeah. I think, class we, two, we, huge, I think huge we have culvert to work expansion. on our policy. We have to work on our policy so that we can determine which roads get, mm -hmm. get what level of service mm -hmm. and, and not. Yeah, we because don't have a obviously, in just in this five-minute conversation, we've got some roads mm -hmm. that we probably don't want to fix. But there are some roads where people live on. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do need to mm -hmm. fix a little bit or to whatever mm -hmm. degree. And we have. So I think it's our policy mm -hmm. is what we got to work on. Determine mm -hmm. which roads are which. Well, we don't have time to do a policy now if we get a February. Uh, no, 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 I'm saying in the future no, that's yeah. something to put yeah, on the agenda. Yeah, we should. The agenda for Michael. Um, what Alfie is, I mean, the select board did discuss this back when I was on the select mm -hmm. board, which class four roads to mm -hmm. maintain, mm -hmm. having a plan for maintenance um, on different class four mm -hmm. roads, which ones to perhaps give well, up um, and, and just establish them as trails. Um, you know, it, it's just, it was a huge can of worms and we never really <laughs> took it on, but it, um, at technically now, um, Towns are responsible for culverts or bridges on coastal roads and also for erosion. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think what Alfie is suggesting does need to be done. And, um, and uh, it's. I hate to say it, when I was on the select board, which was probably 20 years ago mm -hmm. at least, we, <laughs> ta we talked about that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Needing a class four road policy. It's a tough issue. It's not, yeah. it's not a five minute fix, but right. it's, you know. There, there are some class designated class four roads that are basically somebody's driveway. Mm -hmm. And one of them has a bridge on it that the town did have to repair mm -hmm. a number of years ago at a considerable mm -hmm. you know, cost. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody want to so, yeah. list of all our town roads? I got some here. So, since we have a short window, you know, to figure out which ones we are going to do maintenance to, what do you guys think, like, how should we go about figuring that out? Why don't you select the class 4 roads where people actually live on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and maintain those for, at least for emergency services access to mm -hmm. those structures. And Michael, if you have a statute or something that says the town has to install culverts, culverts maintain. Oh, yeah. It's in the orange book, yeah. It's in the orange book. It's in the orange book? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that the town Okay, so, so if, if that's a statute and we've been maintaining it historically per the orange book, then it should be covered by the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So November 2nd. 
You may want to establish a committee to look at this issue and, and bring forth a, a proposal mm -hmm. for a policy mm -hmm. on class four roads. I don't think it's yeah. going to get resolved in this. I know it's not. Like yeah. Perhaps in a committee. But the point was, my point on having this on the agenda was if we know of any or we think of any that we need to identify before the November 2nd, whatever. Now, Brandy has said that her road is a class four road that the mm -hmm. town has maintained. And there's what, two families accessing that? Yes. So absent a committee, can we have someone go, maybe a lister, where listers go through the parcels that exist on class four roads and determine who lives there, or if there are structures that, where people are living. And who better than the listers would know that? Do we have any listers? <laughs> well, the work was so busy. I know, but... Yeah, well, I, for example, I was looking at that today, yeah. and I was surprised to see that Mrs. Wagner's driveway is a class four road. I mean, that goes way up there. Yes, it does. Yeah. And But we haven't heard from her that there was any damage or anything. No. I think the whole of Hattie Bell Road from Route 14 up to Brandy's house, yeah. or, that's still a class four road, designated yeah. as a class four road. Yeah, we haven't Boy. heard about any damages on there. Have you been through there? Are you referring to this end on Route 14? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's no road. There is no class four. No. There's what nothing. You, you mean it's washed out? I mean, it hasn't been maintained. He oh. did logging. There's okay. no road. Okay, so yeah, it's, there's it's no not. Road, but it's still on the town map. It as is. A class his four driveway, road. going yeah. up his driveway into the woods, it's still a class yeah. four. But mm -hmm. Yeah. The, but it's not something that the town has worked you, you on. You can hardly find it walking because yeah. there are so many yeah. different I tried going really. My Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. And there no. was trees down. There was, okay. there was no going through. Right. So roads like that that don't exist or aren't visible, right. they should be taken off the map. So yeah. like we're not held responsible for them. Right. right now, if somebody it's bought a chunk building. of land there, yeah. they could say, you have to fix it. No. Up. Well, no, they'd have to fix it up themselves. Right. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, no, they could because fix the it town themselves. has to put in culverts. They, they the town is a bridge. No, the town is responsible for. Okay, well then. But, but it's only those sticky. It's not easy. Like Hattie it's Bell Road. Yeah. I mean, just there's no culverts or bridges going up the hill up to the top of the, the ridge line mm -hmm. where you live. Know, it's cut. Mm -hmm. There's no. There's nothing that there's the no town mm -hmm. would need to maintain according to uh, statute for a class four road. There's, it's hard to tell where the road is at all at this point. Yeah, and discontinuing a road like that or maintain, or turning it into a trail is, is a, it's a process. process. It's a process, right. Yeah, I mean that's why we, that Nichols Dam Road never got through the process. That's why it's still a town road. <laughs> Even though 25 years ago the select board thought they were giving it away, but they didn't do the do the process. So, so if you find a list of let's say six class four roads that you want to turn into trails, can you do that as a lump sum, or do you have to do each one individually? I have a feeling you have to do each because you have to look, you have to notify all the landowners. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. more um, the more roads, the more landowners, the more so work. Everybody has to be notified. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and Michael went through the, the uh, Buck Lake Road one. Right. Yeah. What's the effect um, on the public's right of way? Like I know that gets the town off the hook for having to maintain it, but like people like to recreate on the class four roads and I think that's a huge asset so to our town. If, it, if they're designated as trails, they're still public right of way, the town still owns the this section that's the right of way and, and anybody can use it but the town is freed of any maintenance of the, and, of the trail. And if is that the only change? Is it the town's off the hook? There's no other changes to these dirt bikes? Yeah, any, anything. You can still drive on it. Anything, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know when we tried, we initially tried to make Ho Chi Minh Road change it from a class four road to a trail and there were a lot of people that came to the next meeting including yes, you uh -huh. who were very worried about that and um and uh you know we you know we just kind of left it alone but that's what happens when it's a trail it's still a town town owned um so there's always a possibility of making it into a class four road or a class three road in the future mm -hmm. if you totally discontinue it then 
where the road was, the property reverts back to the landowners. So that's the mm -hmm. advantage of keeping it as a trail. But it doesn't mm -hmm. close off public um, access to it unless the town passes an ordinance to to restrict that. It's still showed on the number of town maps and so forth. Yeah. Well. Okay, well, thank you all. Anything else, Elsie? <laughs> Uh, I know. Oh. <laughs> the road crew come up with a list of class four roads where people live. Yeah. 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 And I can. I have work a pretty good too. sense of that, and um, and maybe we the town clerk and town treasurer knows who's yeah. name. We could it's come up with that. Yeah. Tax bills are gonna, you know, are gonna tell you whether they live here or they don't live here. Yeah. This is sure. just like, oh, yeah. let's get. A resource would be the nine one one maps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it would show yeah. structures. Now here's one that that's a possible. Problem is out here. Well, we can talk about this later. Kips, a little stone bridge out there. That's possible problem mm -hmm. if that ever gave way. Yeah, uh, the White House is right close to the road, across from mm -hmm. the Mers. Just beyond there, oh. there's oh, yeah. a yeah. the that town road goes into the woods and and there's a kind of a stone. Bridge there, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and it's a dam too. I mean, it, just, it keeps water back. <laughs> I don't know whether to call it a bridge or a dam, but I guess it's a bridge and a dam. Is that where the just above the, where the Kips used to live? Yes, yeah. Kips. Yeah. I just noticed it doesn't have a road name. It's uh, 21 Kips. It says on here. <laughs> and that connects up to the Peltzes. No, not no. I don't think it goes up that goes, far. It doesn't go to the top of the mountain. No, I don't think so. Not in, not on the maps that I've seen. Hmm. And that's is that a class four road? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, recovery officer. Oh. Hand up. Yeah. So we've like been working on the past two weeks. Well, first and foremost, the damage inventories, and that's what you have. It's hard to attack it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so Alfie and I sat down last week, and since these were the first two, they took a little more time than I anticipated. But as we move forward, they should become easier to do, I guess. So you're looking at Lake Hill Road, and so starting from the left, Category B, which are emergency repairs. Mm -hmm. So Lake Hill Road, Woodbury, Vermont, 05681, so you have to determine uh, latitude longitude for where the damage took place. You had to do a description of the damage, how it happened, and the approximate cost, and percentage of work complete. And the labor type FA means simply that it's your town employees that are completing the work. So th there has to be one of these for each road, not only for the emergency work, but also for the permanent work. So once the permanent work gets done, I'll sit down with Alfie, and there'll be three more entries on this on this form, Ooh. with the same latitude and longitude, and there'll be more of a final cost for the permanent work. And so That'll happen maybe next week or the following week when all these done with the permanent fix. So if you have a road that has three different locations on it, yes. do you have to fill one of those forms out for each one of those locations no. or it's just one road? One road, fortunately. So the mm -hmm. second page, the way I determine the latitude and longitude is using the 911 maps because there's a layer in the map that will give you latitude and longitude. So we, we were able to derive where the uh, damages occurred and assign a latitude and longitude to it, which FEMA is required. 
So what I'll do is I'll submit this to FEMA along with the photographs, along with a map indicating latitude and longitude. Once they assign a project number, then you go to the next sheet in your packet. And that's a force of pound labor summary. And that's by project number. So I just put in Alfie's name and I just put in some fictitious hours that he worked. He may have worked in, but for this <laughs> exercise it was fictitious. And for discussion. Hourly rate or and benefits hours. So FEMA requires a loaded labor rate. So they need to we needed to identify mm. his hourly rate and his benefit cost per hour, total hourly rate, and then we'll assign a total cost to it. But this is whoever made this 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 Excel spreadsheet out didn't do a good job. Because there should be formulas in here that will allow you, once you add the hourly rate, the benefit rate per hour, the total hourly hourly rate they should be able to go back to these cells back here where the actual hours are and just spit out a cost and mm -hmm. the total cost. Jeez. But it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's Jeez. a pain. It's silly. So you have to get out of your calculator. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and so I asked if I could modify this thing and I said don't touch it. <laughs> oh dear. Not everybody will want it if you yeah. figure out how to do it. Well, I mean, <laughs> The it's whole just, world. It's just locked in. You can't touch it. That's crazy. I know. So, and this same with the next sheet in your package. And what this is is a force account equipment summary record. Mm -hmm. So every piece of equipment that's used, let's say in Blake Hill Road and the three repairs, you have to put in the size, capacity, horsepower, make and model of each piece of apparatus you use. Equipment code number and none of our pieces of equipment in the town of Woodbury match any equipment code numbers in FEMA. No kidding. Do we have horsepower? Did You didn't write that, did you? No, this is, these are all FEMA forms. H-O-U-R-S-E-P-O-W-E-R? -E -E yeah, so go okay. figure it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to I have to assign an equipment code hmm. to it. And you have to put in the operator's name. And then you assign the hours, and FEMA will assign an equipment rate, and then the calculator comes out, because this doesn't have any formulas in it either. So do you have to put it on there if it's a town piece of equipment, or if it's a rental piece of equipment? No. No. It'll be coded. It'll just be... Yeah, so for the big excavator, there'll be a code for it. Okay. But the cost of the lease will be quantified in a different form. Mm. Go figure that. <laughs> do, do you think VTrans might have some of those equipment code numbers? That oh, these are, I have to go to FEMA and they'll assign it. Okay. All right. They have a 37 page document, which I have one here somewhere. This is an illustration of that document. Mm. Uh, so you just have to find something that sort of matches something that they have on their list? Well, what, I, what I'll have to do is send FEMA what we're using, mm -hmm. and they'll assign an equipment. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. mm. And lastly, there's a project worksheet, and this summarizes what you've done. So when everything else is done, you fill out a project worksheet and work completed as of blah 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 blah. So you have to fill out this thing as well. So what you're saying is you need a raise. No. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm saying you deserve a raise. He needs a help first. Want to double his payments? <laughs> yeah, really. How do you double free? <laughs> So Maybe we should just apply them for sink or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoy doing this stuff, believe it or not. Mm. So anyhow, we need these this this damage inventory. So hence anything you can do to get the town office's damage inventory to me if you're not going to have any insurance claims. You know, gotta get that to me quickly. Okay. okay. Alfie and I have decided that Monday and Tuesday next week tentatively 
and they'd be shut up in that room and they found offices and go through. We're going to take the day off. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's that's the in chair essence, up against the door. That's a, in essence the package that that FEMA is looking for for each road. So it would be 16 of those packages. You've, got, you've identified 16 sites? 16 roads. Oh, yeah. 16 roads. And, yeah. you know, the park here, uh, we should be able to quantify the cost of that. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Where do I have that? Yeah, that's, that's a, uh, it's a different category. I forget what category yeah. it is. So what else have I been doing? Uh, so we did Bleak Hill Road. We've done Wilbur Road. And I think Wilbur Road's complete because the permanent fix has been done. Mm. Okay. Well, we've got, we've still got uh, two landslides. It's not done. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. those, are, those are the two that I showed uh, to Lenny. Okay. And so I don't know where that information is, where that process falls in, but there. You know, he said they were going to schedule another meeting to sh for me to show him more sites, but I haven't. We haven't heard. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard. Okay. So that's something that you know, in the in yeah. the sense of our our okay. deadline, we should get him back here to get some a conference more. call with the project manager, so Lenny, either Lenny or mm -hmm. or somebody else, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I like planning a lot, but I do too. it took a long time to do what we did. Okay. Mm. So what else have I been up to? Uh, completed the lower, loaded labor rates, mm. uh, and we utilized Dave Pike, and he's a part-timer, so he has no benefits, so his, his time is pretty simple. Uh, Mike, I had a question, an update in the town offices, which Robin and Brandy, you've given already. We're still waiting for something from uh, the LCT. The LCT. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, work on the town park. Now that's called the Schedule G, because any work you do on parks is a different schedule from roads or structures. So my question about that, this park over here, the North Park, um, how do we get uh, that gravel scraped off? I don't know, that tree might already be dead, but maybe not. The apple tree. It's all surrounded by, you know, gravelly mm -hmm. and silty stuff. I mean, you're not going to go in there with your one of your pieces of big equipment. Uh, certainly but, not the big excavator that we rented. No. Uh, I mean, you know, like a power shovel or something? Like <laughs> rake knees or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> A rake in the end. A rake, yeah. We've got some volunteers. I've got wheelbarrows and shovels. Okay. <laughs> That's how we get the um, post office lawn. Yeah. But, really? Yeah, yeah. Or a skid steer. Skid steer would, would do a nice job. Uh huh. Um, because it's Who has one of those? Is well, that what you used? A lot of people. No, we used rakes and Oh, really? Oh, yes. okay. yeah. Muscle. Uh -huh. uh, I have one personally. You mm -hmm. can rent them. Yeah. Um, there are other contractors that have them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tell me what to do and I'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, when I was back there, cleaned up the bulk of that debris, I had the big excavator. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it does a lot of work fast, but it doesn't do good with fine. Yeah, but it could, yeah and it digs in. I mean, you don't right. Yeah, dig you'd in. be digging all the topsoil and everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if that's something the board mm -hmm. wants me to put higher on the agenda, then I, I think. Well, if, is it good? If, is something like that a skip going to qualify because it's small? It's a park. Yeah. Yeah. So it will qualify. What? It will qualify. It will qualify. It's, it's not thirty-five hundred dollars or whatever it is. It's a different they, schedule. No. That's all. No. So it'll be fine. Okay, Mike? Could you hire the property management people that do the mowing to do that? I don't know if they have that kind of equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They would have to look into DR. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they'd be happy. 
Yeah. But uh, the, so is that the kind of little like bobcat kind of thing that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. We don't have one of those in town anymore. Ron Landerman does. Well, I thought he was gone. I mean, I haven't seen it yeah, in his place. It in is his it up at Chuck's or something? No, oh, it's in his garage. I do oh, it is. find a key for it. If yeah. you get me in the garage, I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, no, there's many people have them. Oh, okay. I'm sure Russell Richardson probably has Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Even a farm a small farm tractor would probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, there's still going to be some handwork for yeah. sure, but I mean, having a machine there to get the heaviest of it yeah. would definitely be feasible. Yeah. So if somebody else is doing it, where the where does the town want the fill put? That's what I was thinking. Uh, I would be happy to help them with that whenever, you know, if they can just get it scraped up, I can bring the loader and scoop it up mm -hmm. and load it. I, I can find places to put it for sure. Yeah. Mm. You want to ask Ronnie? That's up to the select board. <laughs> no, I'm asking. The select board is asking you if that is somebody you you think might be interested in doing that work. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Mm -hmm. I can look into around. DR because uh, if there is yeah. going to be manual, manual. I think I think if we, I think we should try with DR. See, if they're the ones that mow, mow it, it they're going to bring it back to the to the quality right. that they want to run their mowers over. Oh, okay. Maybe they would be. So maybe they have something like that. Yeah. Okay. Try them and see if not. Then okay. Can, there's there's maybe. a bunch of them. There's there's all kinds okay. of people that would have. That okay. do, I mean that's landscaping. So yeah, that's just it. If there's going to be legwork, also that you want some days to do the complete job. Right. Can we check with them? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Mm -hmm. And if you get if you oh, I was asking thing if we can check with the DR people. Oh okay. Yeah. The other good thing about hiring contractor is it's just an invoice. Skip right. puts the invoice on. Right, on. right exactly. We're not yeah. gonna try you don't have to hear one of these. Right, yeah. exactly. Right. Right. Well, you will. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. sure. Ah. You still have to, but it's less. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll bundle that with the, you said that's the North Park? Right. How about the South Park? That's one of the, the v Trans is going to put that back together, they say, when we're done. And I asked them um, if they end up having to put a guardrail all the way to the power pole. We're not going to be able to get into that half of our park. So maybe we could ask for some extra money to build a little bridge. But anyway, they said we'll talk about that afterwards, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, that's not something that FEMA would be involved with. No. So, moving on. Thank you. Oh, no, I have more. But wait. So I requested and received uh, an estimate for the speed sign that took yeah. Yeah. So but for the what? Speed sign down by uh, Oh, Saban okay. Line. All right. Yeah, Thank so you. I got a quote for that. And uh, that's just for the material. And I've reached out to Lafayette Construction. Those are the folks who installed mm -hmm. the quote. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, who installed the uh, speed sign. So I'm waiting for a quote on that. Wait, did something happen to... One of those feed signs? Yeah. 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 yeah, the flood took it down. Flood eight. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the state hard. actually put the post back up. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But, but the, <laughs> well, because they were working on the bridge. Yeah. It was right next yeah. to their bridge, yeah. so they oh, just yeah. kind of did it all up as, their, oh. as they were doing it. So the post it. is still probably good. Did someone take that away? I noticed the solar uh, panel wasn't there. Oh. Uh, it was there. It's pointing in a last, different direction, isn't last it? Last week, it was there. It? The solar panels down uh, was down on the ground. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's broken, isn't it? I'm sure it's. Yeah, it was yeah. underwater. I'm yeah. sure it's yeah. functional. Yeah. So the quote just needs the post is fine. The post yeah, that's and the is fine. It's, yeah. it's just the the sign itself. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and the solar. Regrettably, they don't make that product anymore, so we'll have to. <laughs> oh boy. So anyhow. Well, thank you for taking care of that because I was thinking you would be the one. Because <laughs> you probably ordered the last time around, right? I did. Yeah. And the lady who um, is, is emailing me again, uh, the one who uh, was involved in the speed, the whole conversation with the sheriff's department last year. She started emailing me about when is that sign going to go back up, and I haven't heard 
No idea. Well, so now I do. <laughs> well, I'll have to Working on the select board to see if they want to purchase it. Well, I think we do. Well, I mean, well, it, once I get the, when the once I get both quotes. I mean, it's a FEMA thing, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but still need the select board's permission to purchase it. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go out and say, yeah, you know, drop it off in my door. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the quotes on Everybody it, though. Everybody should have one of those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the slot board's going to have to approve it. So once I get both quotes in, okay, then I'll send it to the board. Mm -hmm. But I will. What I will do is put out an estimated cost for it, and then if the select board chooses to act or not, mm -hmm. it's up to you guys. Do you have an estimate yet? I have an estimate for the sign and the solar panel, uh -huh. but not the install cost. Oh, okay. The two separate companies that yeah. do that. And we'll have to get another permit from VTrans to work in their road. Uh -huh. hmm. Who's that guy I worked with? I remember him. I can't remember. Yeah, I know. He's a Probably gone. He's gone. <laughs> so I'm going to have to sit down with Brandy soon. She, she gave me a detailed transactions report and it's great. It shows an expenditure of $56,353.60 as of September 11th for description highway materials. And I'm presuming this is all FEMA stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's something from the farmyard store that's for like fifty four hundred dollars. That for eggs. Culverts, I'm oh, assuming. Okay. Johnson okay. Hardware culverts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I'll have. Yeah. So I'll have, have to, copies of all of those yeah. and the checks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'll have to. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to do that. The list has has grown since then, but yeah. Oh, sure. And that's all I have. I have something that's part of yours, actually, Skip. Um, the. Town Hall Foundation damage. So yeah. I went in there Sunday after oh. I went to your oh, house, okay. um, and I really explored, and I didn't see any damage no. at all. It's wet, like the ground mm -hmm. is really wet, mm -hmm. but I assume that the water table is probably still mm -hmm. really high. Mm -hmm. um, but all the sauna tubes looked fine to mm -hmm. me. All the foundation looked fine. Um, it actually was really nice under there there's like no rot mm -hmm. i didn't see any evidence of powder post beetles oh. which was in that yeah, remember like we had report, that yep. like report i didn't see yeah. anything mm -hmm. like that so mm -hmm. i personally thought it was in amazing shape mm -hmm. um, it's really cool under there it's really dirty those, under there it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, those, but those beans are like yeah, yeah. really impressive yeah. <laughs> i can't say i really went under but i stuck my head under <laughs> Okay, great. So thank you for noticing that that was still on there. So I guess we don't have to put anything in there. I mean, I don't claim to be a foundation expert by any means, well, but, but it's just there fears. was nothing. Yeah, they weren't undermined. There was no damage that was visible at all. Okay. Um. I we have a visitor and I have a feeling he's Josh yeah. Corn, our health officer. And I think he was came did you talk to him about talking about the We emailed, yeah. Yeah. To, you think we have enough to keep him here or are you well, being interested enough to stay? Well, I just wanted to get some background on the things I had emailed about, and I know that Lizzie's kind of new to select board, like I'm new, and so I don't know that she has a whole lot of context, but it would be great to connect with with you about some things, um, and just kind of understanding some of those issues I emailed about. Okay. Is that an well, executive session discussion? I think it has to be. That, that's kind yeah. of what I guess. So okay. Uh, All right. Okay, well, thank you for being here, and we'll get to you soon. Norm? Yeah, um, okay, so, let's see. 
I did um, attend part of the emergency management conference. Um, one interesting point that they made is that uh, when the meteorologist spoke uh, from Burlington, um, that they, we still have 40% hurricane season left and that um, a four inch rainfall now is equivalent to a normal six inch rainfall because of the ground still so saturated, mm. which means we're at higher risk of problems at then. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not done yet with the hurricane season, so that, all that's in play. Um, and I just thought I'd throw that out to you for entertainment's mm -hmm. sake. But, <laughs> the, uh, but it, it, it does um, remind us the, that we need to be prepared for what's may come. But the, uh, um, so moving right along, we, we talked about radios. Um, I did get a written estimate from Radio North for $3,973 to do that installation. Um, Radio North, you said? Yeah, and I'll, I'll leave you a copy of that if you want. Mm -hmm. um, a quotation. Um, uh, the procurement policy is something you've got figured out too, so in terms of how well, you want to, let's guess that. How is that be? Um, Thank you. The, uh, I did also, uh, yeah. their problem is that they're swamped. Mm -hmm. And that also has to do with the town radios on the trucks being able to get to see them. So I did also contact Burlington Communications. Uh, they're another larger outfit, much larger outfit, that does this kind of work. Um, and um, especially because we're doing this as an emergency uh, repair kind of mm -hmm. thing, um, you should really consider that they're about two weeks out, they said. Mm -hmm. So. Um, two weeks I, out to get an estimate or? No, two weeks out to come check out the oh. radio, town radios and oh. or in order to do this installation if they're if they get a go ahead. I haven't um, sought to get a price from them yet because I thought I'd bring it to this meeting and see what you folks thought should happen mm -hmm. next with this because it's in your court. Um, well, we have one member who's not here who seemed to think that the we have to go out to bid for anything over three thousand dollars and I still don't know. Okay. So, so do you oh, where you get that. Do I you? talked to the state purchasing department yeah. and they said they have not changed theirs. It's still the the eight thousand. Hmm. The eight thousand is our policy, mm -hmm. so yeah. So yep. you couldn't find me. So so, so they want to get a quote from them too and see how it compares to the other price and just make a decision or do you want to empower someone to go forward with this if the price is one way or another mm -hmm. what, what do you want to do <laughs> good question yeah what good question I think we should I mean Chris seemed to feel strongly about it I think we should wait until okay <sighs> next week um, <laughs> the um, but there's a bunch of things for preparedness that we've talked about somewhat. Um, mm -hmm. oh, um, additional road, additional road signs. Um, the uh, I don't know how, what kind of priority you think that has, uh, and some of that might be included under FEMA stuff. What do you think, Skip? Getting some additional road signs. Um, you mean like for construction and yeah, road clothes and so forth? Yeah. Road clothes or yeah. tours or yeah. Yeah, that's part of my water. They allow for that or they do. So it's part of the emergency work. Yeah. And if we get through but, the emergency without it. Right. I'm wondering the emergency's over now. Can we still buy signs for future emergencies? How much you, how much money are you talking? Uh, well we had a quote, right? Uh, I want to yeah, say some time ago. Yeah, like six thousand yeah. dollars. Well, that was a bunch of cones and a bunch of signs. Is that quote mm -hmm. still good? Is it good for thirty days, sixty days, ninety uh, days? Thirty. Or what well, that was put under the state contract. The quote we got was off the state contract. Right. Um, well, I would say go out and purchase it, and I'll just put it in as a, as a cost. Okay. Yeah. I just, my hesitancy is, is we just got informed that we're $78,000 in the red. So <laughs> don't, I, you, don't worry. Raise taxes to make up for that. Yeah. It was negative right. before you even came in. Don't even take it personal. Don't, <laughs> don't take it personal. 
<laughs> well, yes, but I. It's you know, not like you've I, been spending. I budget too much. at home, so I'm uh, responsible for this budget. So well, no, I you came into to, this when it was already in the hole. So. Right. So, yeah. but I mean, you know, figuring that FEMA's going to reimburse us. Yeah. I mean, I do think those signs would be helpful in another event. Mm -hmm. Such as we just so went through. Yeah. So and they also could be just supplies that you buy to have on hand for the. Right. But again, what about sandbags? Oh. I bought sandbags. I've got a hundred of them. Send me the quote. They told me not to. It's already in there. This, it's kind of inter interesting. Sandbags have a shelf life. Oh, no. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he says, don't fill them with sand until you're ready to use them. Because uh -huh. when you use them, you'll pick them up, and the sand will hit the ground, and the bag will be in your hand. Uh -huh. The bottom of it deteriorates. And it, gotcha. So I have them on hand. I have uh -huh. 100 of them. If, uh -huh. if we have an event, people can come get them. Volunteers uh -huh. can fill them yeah. with sand. Uh -huh. yeah. We've and always got sand, plenty of sand. So uh -huh. that's we're ready for, for that. So it sounds like even if they're not filled, they, stood, they still could rot. Is that what they're saying? Uh, no, they have, when you say no, it's shelf I life? It's the, I think it's the moisture, the moisture, moisture from the sand. sand. Oh, okay. Once they're filled. Okay. The, the, it's kind of a woven plastic. Yeah, okay. you know. So I think they're in a box. So they're, if they're, oh, okay. they're kept dry in the shop, they're, they'll be ready for us. So I can send that to Skip, the quote, and... Do you, mean, do you I mean, think you need six thousand dollars worth? Um, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not. Well, you sure. have to store them, and I don't know, you know. And I mean, Norm got them. the quote, and I think you and I talked a little bit about what to put into that. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember, you know, like how many signs there was. I know it was like fifty cones or something like that. It was a pretty absorbent amount. Um, but in an event like we just had, right. I mean, yeah, we we, I, mean I used everything that was at my disposal mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. time garage. Every, I mean, everything mm -hmm. was out. Um, and then and you needed more. more. And I could have easily used more. And yeah. you know, there were some places that weren't marked properly mm -hmm. during that mm -hmm. storm. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so that stuff, you know, was necessary. And, and at the time, when I, well, we talked about them, I, I submitted that, I contacted the state, and they, they said we'd have them for you the next day, and you're just putting for FEMA reimbursement, yeah. what they said. Um, mm -hmm. but, it, but, you didn't, but you got some at the time, right? You got some cones. I got some, some cones, yeah, just to have on hand. I bought 10 cones. Uh, okay. But I, I'll go back to that quote and uh, evaluate it. Maybe, it. maybe we don't need the whole thing, but... Yeah, well, I mean, it's a good figure we can put it in. Uh, we'll let Skip decide. How's that? Hmm? <laughs> we'll let Skip decide. <laughs> the what? <laughs> How much room do you have to store this stuff? Will it go in the Connex box? Connex box. I have an ample room for that. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so. even for the, the lights, I mean, on Cabot Road with that landslide. Yeah. I mean, it would have been well, yeah, we have mm -hmm. a lot of people driving at night, and when it's raining, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's hard to see. It's hard to, to you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think Can it the would select be board approve that and make a motion that, with yes. between Norm and send it to Skip. No. <laughs> <laughs> between what Norm well, wouldn't that be the same, the the same as the do we have to follow the, the premium uh, have to approve the policy? But you, you, you buy have, stuff all the not, time. It's individual. It's not even though it's one clump. It's not that you're, you're um, handing over a construction job for 8000 It's not mm -hmm. something we have to go out for bid for. It's like Is that what you're going for? Like, that's what I was at. That's my question. No, we're, like we're, you're because buying. Because Chris is saying last week that it was three thousand dollars is our limit without going to bid. But this is does not that mean a project. Just, so just for my clarity, clarity, I need to know: does that mean for any any purchase? No, or is it you outside buy of the budget? And... I mean, I have a budget that I'm responsible yeah. for. Yeah. Do I have authority to buy anything within that budget? Sure. Yeah, I mean, if you got a budget for uh, a truck that was ordered and all approved, and you buy culverts, and you don't have to go out to bid for culverts, and you buy other supplies, whatever you need for the garage, and I think you can just 
put it down as supplies. Yeah. yeah. Well, well that, that particular transaction is brought up the state contract. Now the state goes to bid for those contracts. Oh, and okay. well then. So the bidding is already done. The bidding is already done. Okay, right. well that's I, I know in other venues, if you can, if you buy under those contracts, then you've complied with the bidding rules, but I don't mm -hmm. know how that deals with the town's procurement policy. Yeah, I don't know either. So, but, uh, and if they may want to be modified. A future agenda. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Buy what you need. <laughs> you may want to mod modify it to, to specifically allow for buying on the state contract. Or on the yeah, state contract it might say something like that. Because that's already, already pre-bid and so forth. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a lot easier if you can buy another contract. But yeah. and you might be able to get a better price elsewhere, but that's the, you know, yeah, that's work's been done. So I'll anyway. I'll just order them. I'll just order them. They're coming. Yeah, we can sit. I'll send me the invoice. I'll pay him and I'll give you the invoice and check number. There we go. So, pictures, I'll make pictures. So, in terms of mitigation issues, um, the, uh, the, the, the there are three basic categories of significant costs that we know about. Um, one is to replace more culverts and bring them up to the standard. Another is there are sections of town roads that flood, um, like, uh, you know, look nearby lakes or wetlands, you know, just overflow the road. I'm not talking about streams uh, flooding them, but just, just the level of the water. Um, and another one that's upcoming is, uh, you know, first we need to get the, the, the truck radios uh, serviced to see if, if they're operating correctly, because right now, uh, according to Alfie, they're basically no good. And then they may need to be replaced with better radios. So did um, you get that um, uh, thing up at the quarry fixed? The uh, no. receiver or what? No, I, as far as I know, um, I think my guy kind of dropped the ball here. So oh. mm -hmm. I, okay. I'm Not either going to harass him or we're like, like Norm said, we're going to go on to another contractor. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Radio North told me that they're down two techs and they have no shortage of work. Um, yeah. that, that they can't get to. So mm -hmm. um, maybe we need to, you know, see if we can get some better service somewhere because these things should happen. Mm -hmm. Then putting them off doesn't help. Mm -hmm. I, and, you know, they may be pricier because of bigger outfit. Um, and obviously, we like using Radio North for because there's experience with them, but, uh, but we need to get the work done. So this is, I mean, if you're talking about new radios for the trucks, or well, no, uh, there's two separate things. Oh, okay, okay. One is uh, we need to get in service to see if they'd work okay. Oh, right. Okay. If everything was put together right, and maybe they don't need to get replaced. We don't know that. Okay. But um, but we need we need to have these radios in the truck that work. Yeah. Right. Um, so. Who um, does the fire department use for their radios? Radio no. So it. Um, so uh, these bigger projects that I talked about, you know, I'm talking about um, needing to upgrade all the culverts that need upgrading, essentially, um, and dealing with sections of road that need up upgrading for resiliency and so on. So looking at, you know, w where is the money we could access for this? And I put out a couple things to you folks that I came across, and I'm researching others. Uh, there's a Scheduled, there's a show the money guide that the state puts out, state retrans, um, that kind of lists all these things, which is good. I can, I can email you, you folks the. What did you say? Show the money. Show the money is what they call it. I thought that's what you said. Well, you know, okay. it's not yeah. my my money. It's puzzle, all right. <laughs> but, yeah, and um, the schedule deal allows for up to sixty thousand. This is all, um, but all these programs are at an eighty twenty split. 80% federal mm -hmm. state, 20% town. So I'm not, I'm not done researching all this stuff yet, certainly. And uh, so I'm going to, you know, check into mm -hmm. that further and mm -hmm. maybe next meeting be able to come back with some something more intelligent about suggestions on applying for something. But the town's going to have to decide if they can spend the 20%. Because altogether, you know, we're talking about mm -hmm. $150,000, $200,000 mm -hmm. or something to get, get this work done that should mm -hmm. happen. And um, and if, uh, FEMA has some programs, uh, and the work would be two years out. So mm -hmm. some of these other programs would have to quicker. They, 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 um, they, all these things have their pluses and minuses. And I, 
probably should remind you that I'm getting done in about a month. Um, I signed on for three months. Luckily, we have someone that is willing to uh, uh, do the job. John Gordon is here. I'll let him speak for himself in terms of his interest in the position. He's up mm -hmm. to the select board how you want to handle this, but that's your entree. I still haven't raised his hand. I don't have a lot to say other than I'm willing to step in for Norm when he's done. That's really awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Make a motion that we appoint. Um, <laughs> John Gordon <laughs> to be the to take over as emergency management director when Norm is no no <laughs> so about a month. November first. What, what what's your no, last day? Seventeenth uh, October seventeenth. Oh geez, I thought this was a more or less kind of three months. So. Uh, no, this is right in the middle. <laughs> it's like it's eighteenth uh, then. Mm. <laughs> Could I introduce a motion? Please. Sure. That should replace the FEMA point of contact. Did you what? <laughs> oh, oh. No, you signed on for 18 months, I think it was. Well, well good luck we get by 18. But, um, <laughs> so, the, uh, mm. and that, that also goes all the way around to setting up and, you know, dealing with updating the mitigation plan and putting together some kind of committee. Mm. That, uh, if you, um, if Don's going to take over, he would be a key person to be involved in that. Um, uh, I think it's one process really that involves both emergency management as well as planning commission. There's overlap and to work out collaboratively on that would be a good idea. Would so, you be on the committee? Perhaps. What? Perhaps. Crap? Is it perhaps? Perhaps. 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 <laughs> You did say crap. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's only your interpretation. I know what I said. We were crap. No. So do we need to make it official? I, I heard two motions, but we didn't really uh, finish. Um. Yeah, his motion was for something else. <laughs> he wants to. He wishes he'd signed down for three months, but he didn't. Oh. So. so yeah, what do you think? Okay, uh, I will make a motion. Um, to appoint John as the emergency management director once Norm is done. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, give us your pay skin, pay requirements. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Speaking of that, pay requirements. Yeah. So I have potentially uh, someone who may want to assist me, mm -hmm. but that person is in a position that they would like to get paid. Uh -huh. So, uh, and... That's female eligible. Pardon me? That's female eligible. <laughs> That's, that is female eligible. Yeah. Yeah. And so, that person going rate is, is a, at a discount for what that person does. Yeah. So, uh, that person would like to be reimbursed Fifty dollars an hour, Ooh. yeah, and that's that's okay. I think. Mm -hmm. How many hours a week do you think they'd be putting in? Well, probably for this initial go around, I'm thinking probably a total of forty hours. You know, because right now I have spreadsheets set up. So what you basically have to do is sit down with the road crew, get their narrative. Mm -hmm. and uh, the cost of material, the labor, plug it into a spreadsheet, and out it comes. And then it's, I shouldn't say merely filling out forms, it's filling out forms. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I anticipate 40, maybe 60 hours. Work. A week, uh, or no, total. total? Total. Total, okay. So 60-hour week, that's a long week. So this, but, okay. <laughs> so, so anyhow, and FEMA will, will reimburse up to 5% of the total project cost. So Woodbury's total expenditures for this FEMA disaster is approaching three hundred thousand dollars. So five percent of that would be fifteen grand. So FEMA for this category Z work, which is administrative, there would be a check sent through the state to Brandy for category Z work. Okay, totaling say fifteen thousand dollars. And then the select board would authorize payment to that person for the amount of time that that person put in. Hmm. And all that time is included. The volunteer time is included in that schedule. Right. right. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, I've been trying to keep track of a few things. 
And town clerk's time that's spent on, yeah. on this work yeah. is part of the Schedule Z yeah. at Treasurer as well. And Alfie's, Alfie's time is all Category Z as well for filling out these forms. Mm -hmm. So it's up to the board to decide mm -hmm. if you want to. I know some, I'm just thinking of some of the responses that we got when the, uh, there was a new delinquent tax collector hired. Well, this is totally and, and different there was, from that. Too. Okay, but people are going to say. Can I ask you, Skip? I know but what you're doing. to do this, and it's a law for one person to yeah, do Yeah, but, but there might be other people who yeah, might this is do different from the delinquent tax collector. That was okay. a percentage issue of the delinquent taxes. Well, I mean, this, the, the issue is, was that the, the, was, the amount was more than most people make. So, at the time, so there was some pushback about, but... This is a short model. term, and it's... So, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so, I know what you're doing is quite specialized, I can tell mm -hmm. by, like, yeah. reading your reports and stuff. Um, what this person would be doing, who would be working with you, do they need specialized knowledge? I, I'm just wondering... This person does. He uh -huh. does have, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's this not something that someone could come along and be trained in relatively quickly and do for possibly a lower rate of pay? This mm -hmm. person is expert in spreadsheets mm -hmm. and accounting. So albeit she's not expert in FEMA, uh -huh. who is? Mm -hmm. you know? right. So this person could hit the ground running, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But it would be up to the select board again to decide whether or not when the money start flowing in to cut this person a check for the time they've spent on the project. Mm -hmm. Up to the select board again. I feel like we're making a lot of decisions today. Like, right? like now? Um, well, we've got deadlines. Well, we've got deadlines. Yeah, until November, that's a, November November second. When would the when would the this kind of work be done? Before November 2nd. Okay. <laughs> like next Monday, I'm okay. okay. um, going <laughs> to yeah. make a motion to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I should say it in a more official way. I'm going to make a motion to offer this person $50 an hour for up to 60 hours worth of work, but probably not more than that. I need to put a cap, cap on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to put a not to exceed amount, that's fine. Um, yeah, they can revise it later. Yeah. Maybe we could just talk about it if it seems like it's going to go if it's gonna way go over any, that. Or if, if FEMA puts up any more hoops. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this wouldn't be, I would add them to payroll. Pay Absolutely them. not. Oh, no. And then oh, okay. in the end. Oh, there's no payroll. Okay. So okay. Contract, she's okay. a contractor. Okay. Oh. Right? Would it be a contractor? Oh. No. No, because. She would well, so she wouldn't get paid contract. until we got paid. Yeah, she would be uh, 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 yeah. a contract. Yeah. Yeah. She would be a contract. Informal contract. Contract but not without paid by contract. The town. <laughs> there's no there's no town money rule. No money. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. None whatsoever. Mm -hmm. no. Maybe a couple of sheets of paper and a pencil, that's about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They shouldn't pay they shouldn't pay her equals in as an expense and say that again? Well, I should leave. Leave that sort of <laughs> <laughs> You would think she did submit an invoice and get paid and then get their reimbursed by the theme, the same as every other contractor. I'd say how else you would do it. On good faith? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. No, it, it would. Yeah. Before you go, <laughs> you want, are you trying to leave? Yeah, Just let me read this. This is on. This is from our pur purchasing policy, section five. Cases not requiring bidding procedures. One is uh, the employee ex elected official or committee chair may approve a purchase order without bid under the following conditions. One, a item is to be purchased under town, state, or federal bid contract. So there you go. The other thing, then there's only one source of purchase, no comparable substitute, or a specific type of brand of supply or part necessary for acceptable operation of a machine, 
or an item of service, or item or service that is required on an emergency basis. And then there's several emergency procedures here. An, an item previously awarded by a bid process within the past six months. Well, that. So anyways, that answers my one question about buying under the state contract. Well, the state contract and also emergency procedures. You know, yeah, I, I, agree. I think we've, you know, this isn't a, if an incident happened tomorrow and it could be something other than a flood because we're going to have some nice weather for change. <laughs> Yeah, we we're still in the same position of not being able to communicate and mm -hmm. so forth. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so this is in it, certainly in the category of an emergency repairs, uh, as was, uh, as is the antenna. We're looking to apply to FEMA as part of the emergency for this stuff, uh, mm -hmm. because right now the emergency operations center is not viable, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to have the uh, this room set up to be able to operate, and that's where that lies. So under the emergency procurement section, the emergency procurement definition, emergency procurements may be made when there is a threat to public health, welfare, or safety, provided that such emergency procurement shall be made with such competition as is practical under the circumstances. Examples of emergency procurement include repair of storm damage, infrastructure requiring immediate repair, structural repairs to municipal buildings that would otherwise cause the building to be closed. Yeah, those are examples. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so those are examples. They're, they're not, yeah, they're not really. Not a, a, yeah. Saying that those are the only things. That right, follow. right. In case of an emergency requiring emergency immediate purchase of materials, supplies, or equipment. Uh, I know the emergency operations um, people yeah. from the state considered this to be an emergency. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? We're qualified. Did you mention, Norm? I thought I heard you say something about getting a second quote for that. Yeah. Um, it, how, you have any idea of the time frame for doing that? I've got to, I have to call him back. Uh, no, he said uh, that they can get to doing the work in a couple of weeks. Oh, uh, okay. These people uh, can, or the other people you talked to? Uh, the, the new people, the, the um, Burlington outfit. Okay. But Radio uh, North is already somebody that the town is dealing with in the fire department? Yeah. So that seems like it would make more sense to go but with I them. But I thought you said they could get out. here. Mm -hmm. Oh. And the other company is not a couple months they out? They said a couple weeks. Oh. And mm. now it probably doesn't have operable radius. Yeah. Oh. We should probably compare the pricing though, right? And there's two different things. The repair on radios, you know, my suggestion is that we, we get them in and check out the radios. Um, I think that's really your call because mm -hmm. that's entirely your province to have a discussion mm -hmm. and see if that works. Right. Um, so well, I'll, I'll call I'll call my guy tomorrow and just see where he's at. If he's too busy, then I'll sure. I'll go with I'll go with uh, with your guy. Yeah. I mean, uh, if, if a radio guy can come and they can do the whole thing in one day and or whatever or two days, whatever it takes, and it's done, then that's that's my idea of a good time. Get it done. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll 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 ask Rowling the folks to get get it. Their quotation we have the, the other one, so they'll have two to look at, and then uh, you know I guess um, there's no way to get this moved along quicker than your next meeting from what you said before, so that's how it'll happen. Well, okay, or if there is a rush, could we like vote to go with whichever one? Could we empower you to make the decision, so you don't have to wait two weeks? I don't know if that's a if that's a new you could. Um, you could. Yeah, you could if you chose to. Uh, you go to boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can it wait two weeks? Yeah, I mean, you know, it. Um, as long as a hurricane don't come. Right. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever have another flood like this. <laughs> ever. No, oh, yeah. Right. We said that in yeah. 2011. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't remember our flood in 2011. Uh, it's hard to have it roll over. Our whole house uh, off of our. Yeah. Yeah. I think that you know this this last part is a is an example of something that we need to be better positioned for. I don't know that mm -hmm. we could ever get to be a hundred percent where no mm -hmm. road's going to get damaged no matter how much work you did mm -hmm. because of that. But but we weren't as mm -hmm. well positioned as we like to be, and we want to get there. I tried to leave once, but 
company at home leaving tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna. So I guess we're gonna leave it that you're gonna try to get this quote from this other company that's only two weeks out. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a quote and go back to the next meeting like I said, unless okay. you want to empower me to uh, we can have, 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 a, have them come, to, uh, you know, proceed to do the work. Okay. Anything, Dana? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah. Just one more question. Did you guys ever vote on whether or not this person should be hired? No, but we should do that, though. I made a motion. Can you... I think um, we did. I just made a motion, but I, I didn't quite finish. Okay. Um, All right. So, All right. Go ahead. So Norm brought out a, a good point. Instead of having this person come in and waiting for FEMA reimbursement, which we know we're going to get, mm -hmm. if we could pay this person as this person works, like on a weekly basis as a consultant. Is that what she wants? Mm -hmm. Most he or she wants every couple of weeks. Well, I'll find out. Yeah. And then in the event that this is what this person wants to do, would the select board entertain that? I we, think that's fair. Yeah. I we know we're going to get reimbursed. She, she, she has to sub sub submit a bill. All the gravel we pay mm -hmm. for it now, yeah. and then we get reimbursed. Well, if she wants to submit a bill every two weeks or once a month or whatever. I think you should be able to work that out. So that should also be part of your motion. My motion? Do you want me to do it right now? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Wait, let me write it down. Uh, I, this is the first day I've I made any motion. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make a motion to hire this person that Skip knows as a consultant um, and to pay her as she works um, and be reimbursed. Re reimbursed by FEMA. So for your motion, we should probably should have a name. Can we use a name? It's not secret, right? You know, last conversation with this person, she was kind of on the edge. Okay. On whether or not. Okay. She but we're not, but you're not gonna hire just anyone. Well, oh no. Okay. It would, it would okay. be only. It would be only this person. Okay. All right. So and this person is eminently qualified. The person. And the person. <laughs> Yeah. And I, uh, and the captain would be the captain. Yeah, and I suppose I, you know. Captain. She wouldn't mind. It's it's Danielle with the lottery. I thought it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Secretly no. I'm not yeah, sure. Her. Yeah, and she was at the FEMA meeting, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, she was engaged in the FEMA meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, she she added a lot to the meeting, mm -hmm. and but. You know, she's a little apprehensive because of, she doesn't know a lot about FEMA and their forms, and so. But I think if mm -hmm. we tell her that a motion was passed, that she could get paid her, her rate. So hope, Thank you. you. Know, Good night. I think she would go for it. Okay. Okay. And that's the only person that I would put forward to the uh, select board to do this type of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we vote on the motion? Do I need to reword it? Well, the motion to hire Danielle Livalera and to pay her what she's asking for. $50 um, an hour. Up, up to... For, uh, up to 60 hours and maybe we can talk about more that. if it's yeah. needed. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'll reach out to her tomorrow and see if, if she's interested. How to do it? She may not. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then that's you and me. Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to be shut up in a room with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When's your next FEMA meeting? I have a conference call on Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to the fire department FEMA meeting because the same project manager will be there. Oh. Is that Michelle? Michelle. Yeah. I sent you an email about who she is. Yeah, I got the name, so I yeah. put it in the minute. She goes by Michelle. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Josh must have been waiting a while. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yeah, so I know. So no. can executive session. Okay. So did we have anything else? We got nothing on Nichols Dam Road. Okay. So let's. Uh, I make a motion that we go into an executive session to discuss uh, various enforcement problems. I'll second that. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right.